Okay, on today's tutorial, it's going to be a quick one. We're going to, in Figma, create a book now button that animates into a success state. Um, pretty cool effect, really easy to do, uh, and it'll be a component so you can use it uh, anywhere you want. So book now animates into a success state, an icon. And you can take this as far as you want. I've turned it into a calendar, but I mean you can go, um, you know, whichever direction you want. So let's, let's see how we do it. Uh, so the trick with this one is we're actually gonna animate this uh, in reverse. So we're starting with the end state and then we're gonna make sure that we've got um, kind of, we're gonna animate it backwards, basically. So we'll start with a square. This will be our calendar. So we'll give it some corners. Man, that's looking fine. Um, I'm gonna add a book now text. just because I want to make sure that I got enough space in here. Okay, that's great. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate this to make my rings and I'll just shrink them down. So there's one. We're going to give it a stroke on the outside of three. Sure. Duplicate that guy. There we go. And then to create the check mark, we're actually going to use rectangle so that it animates in properly. So we'll start, we'll make a, maybe about, yeah, sure, eight. Let's make sure I ramp up my corners to get those rounded edges. And I will make it a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to duplicate this, 45 degrees the other way, line up those round bits and stretch it out into my check mark, which I'll put there. It's a little bit off. You guys might not care, but I do. So there we go. Okay, that's all you need to do to get it set up. Um, first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the layer of, um, no we're not, that's a lie. We're gonna select all of this and we're gonna create a component. And we'll call it spelled right. <clears throat> okay, now that it's a component, we will take this and we will turn that layer off for now. And by turn it off, I actually mean set the opacity to zero. If you turn off a layer, then it won't animate properly. If you set the opacity to zero, then your fades will work. It's a thing with the Smart Animate in Figma. Okay, so now, like I said, we're going to keyframe this backwards. So we'll create a new state. Uh, and I want these, in this state, I want these guys to kind of pop up. So we're going to move them down. And I want this one to pop up a little later. So staggered, I guess you call it. So I'm actually going to move these down, this one down a little bit more, and this one up just to give it some more time. Uh, and then we're going to take these and we're going to set their layer opacity to zero. Uh, and we're kind of going to do two things with this state. We're also going to bring this down, uh, this part of our check mark, and we're going to try to, we're going to be animating that. So you shrink that to there, and that's about the state we want for this keyframe. Add a new variant. Now, for this one, what we'll do is we'll take our other section, shrink it to a dot, line that up, so that they're on top of each other. And then we're also going to set these layers to zero. Excellent. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new state. We're going to make this our button shape, like our, our beginning button shape. We're, we're going to take this, we're going to shrink it down. That's probably good. Uh, just to test, you can hover over the book now. That looks good. And then we will create one more where our book now is at 100. So now we have a button. So we have a button. You're going to click it. The book now is going to fade. It's going to expand to this one. And then check mark is going to animate into a final state. So how do we do that? Well, we start with our book now. Switch to prototype. Drag that up there. We're going to go on click, 
we'll just do a dissolve for this one. Probably only like 200 is fine. Then we're going to grab this state. We're going to bring it up to there. And we're going to change its action to after delay of one millisecond. Um, and now we're going to change this to smart animate. And I want this to kind of spring. So I'm going to change this to bouncy. Okay. And then we'll prototype this guy to there. After delay, one millisecond, because you can't do zero. It won't let you. Smart animate is fine, but we're going to go to ease in and out. 300 is fine. And then again, the exact same thing. After delay, one millisecond, smart animate. Okay. Now that should be set up. So we will just create a quick iPhone frame. We will grab our Cook Now tutorial button. So the key to this is that you need to set it to the last state. I mean, you could reorder the states if you want, and that's totally fine. Um, it's probably the better way to do it. But we can test this now. So we go prototype. We'll just make sure we got a flow starting point there. We're going to hit play. So now if we click this, it should animate right through to our final state. Beautiful. Look at that. An animated button that on click morphs into an icon. And like I said, you can take this as far as you want. But this is just kind of a fun little way to uh, take your components to the next level and start adding some micro interactions uh, into your designs. Um, this was a quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, check out my other YouTube channel, Muttering Pines, uh, where I don't do Figma stuff. And for more Figma stuff, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.